The U.S. NS Mercy, dubbed the hospital at sea due to its capabilities and equipment that's comparable to a modern onshore hospital, has made port on Guam. The Mercy's facilities include four radiology suites, 12 operating rooms, one CT scanner, 1,000 patient beds, 80 intensive care beds, and one isolation ward. Their mission, to provide rapid, flexible, and mobile acute health support services to the armed forces ashore and naval forces afloat the seas. The ship also provides acute medical care in disasters while also providing humanitarian relief. They're here for the Pacific Partnership 2022, the largest multinational humanitarian and disaster relief preparedness mission conducted in the Indo-Pacific. Deputy Mission Commander of the Pacific Partnership 22, Captain Charles Maynard of the Royal Navy. This is the first time in four years that Mercy's visited Guam and the first time in four years that we've been able to use the capabilities of Mercy uh, to a full effect. So we'll be undertaking a series of mission stops in the Western Pacific and Oceania, bringing together all of our fantastic experts who are on board, medical staff, but we also have engineers, uh, we have veterinarians, we have uh, a Pacific Fleet Band with us. So we're doing a, a host of activities in our mission, during our mission stops, working alongside our partners to uh, take forward cooperation and understanding of humanitarian and disaster relief activity. Commanding Officer of the Mercy, Captain Timothy Quast, spoke on how important the island is to the Pacific Partnership mission. Guam is extremely important, so we are taking on a host of personnel, logistics, we're spending a, a, a significant amount of time here. Captain Quast added that while they're here, they're looking forward to getting involved with some community events, including beach cleanups, community relation events, and doing some flag planting in Asan Beach in preparation for Memorial Day. Three sailors with Guam roots also serve aboard the Mercy and are taking part in the PP-22 mission. Hospital men apprentice Tegan Mantanonia and hospital corpsman second class Joanna Ramilo shared why they love serving aboard the hospital at sea. So far it's been um, being able to not only show, share different cultures but also to be aware of how other people live. Um, we have our own idea of how life is supposed to be but other people have a completely different way of seeing life and being able to uh, see different countries and um, their way of living I think is quite, quite extraordinary. To be able to see all these places and to travel and to also help these, these countries, um, they don't have certain resources and it feels to be able to, it feels great to be able to give back and to be a part of that humanitarian mission. The Mercy has one of the largest trauma facilities in the United States and can staff up to 1,200 medical personnel. When the Mercy is activated, it can transition to full operating status in five days. Daniel Perez reporting for KUAM News.